How's it going everybody? This is Brett here and I'm going to talk about the Docker series, The Most Dangerous Animal. I want to discuss a few things. I'm going to start ranting. I'm going to talk about um, all the people who hate Gary Stewart and the people that are leaving comments on this trailer and on Facebook groups. Also, I've got some grievances myself that I believe this documentary should have done far better. Um, I understand the people who are dismissing Gary Stewart's claim, but I believe they've gone overboard with their anger that they think everything Gary has provided is rubbish, and that is not the case, even though 90% is. And that's the shame of this movie, or doco series, that Keith Davidson and whoever the other guy looked at their past work and I was impressed and I thought they were really going to nail this um, doco series. And what um, upsets me a bit that I have talked to Gary and showed him my work that is better than virtually anything he has um, ever produced, like really um, leaps and bounds, and yet they chose not to do this, and yet they're choosing um, to do things that have been discredited. Like, number one is this, um, you know, stupid fingerprint that they claim that um, they're reversing the fingerprint to make it fit the scar. Well, you don't reverse that. That does not work. And I just believe that um, that is just like a dent in the metal. There's no proof that this is an um, actual fingerprint. When it's laid, there could be a, a dent in the handle of the car. So, for one example like that, and so we'll get st um, started. I'm going to do a new thing. I'm going to discuss things, um, show sheets like this, and um, explain all. Okay, number one, Gary is presenting in this movie. And this is, again, a shame that I thought they were going to do better. I thought if um, you're going to do it, do it properly. If um, new evidence comes to light to support what you were saying, well, you should present that. You should stand behind it. And I have worked tirelessly to help these people. Um, as I said, make no doubt about it, I could do with money in my life. I'm, I imagine we all do. And I offered um, what I have done for free. And what I'm going to show is um, my findings and what should be in this doco series. This is what I'm saying. that What I have gathered myself um, to show that Earl most likely is the Zodiac, um, none of it's been dismissed. And then what they're presenting, 90% of it has been dismissed and discredited. So let's get going. So Gary Stewart presents this document here. He says that um, his mother saw Earl Van Best Jr. write this out. But in fact, she got confused with another document, I believe, because... Um, I've been to a court case lately, just a observant, and it was a crime of 20 years ago. And people's um, recollections and memories do fade, your mind tricks you. Um, there was a lady who said oh, Australia Day in 1996 was extremely hot. She remembers it because she's wearing a singlet. Go on to records, it was only 27 degrees. And what Judy did see all right is this document here and this is what they should have used and I'm going to show you what I have found and I have showed on all my videos but instead they're using this that is um, virtually being debunked but they're you know and you're thinking well can't they do better than this you can go on um, Google type up Earl Van Best um, handwriting and you'll come across this as well this is Reverend Flanagan the guy who um, signed it down here and this is handwriting I have chopped this because I'm am saving ink I'm printing this out but there's bigger um, or more pages of his handwriting samples here so what I am saying that um, it looks like this is his handwriting and so is this this looks very similar to that and so you just can't present when it's being debunked and I believe it was an honest mistake where everybody else is what gets me they've got so much anger against Gary they're saying oh it's all rubbish you know and that's not the case as well and as I say, that police also botch investigations. So, I'm going to show you what I would have presented. Um, for example, so I want to present this bit here. This is a part of the Donna Lass card. Also, you need to Google the um, FBI Hoover Zodiac letter, a suspicious letter that um, appeared in the mail. But as I have shown here, so this is three different 
Francisco's. Three different ones. He rated three times. This is all best, 100%. On the Donna Lass card, um, with cursive writing, if you can see, he has broken the word up. So, who writes in cursive writing and then breaks the word up? So, here, with, um, like, Donna, Guardian, and this one here. And then we go over again to the FBI Hoover ladder. We've got three supposedly different authors um, writing um, cursive styles, but write about three letters, stop completely write another four letters, stop completely, and finish the rest. You know, that is a very unique pattern, in my opinion. And again, um, this is the first example of me I'm going to show. There's missed opportunity um, for this document documentary series. Um, I don't know if I was going to say anything else. I'm going to have a sip of this. I'm going to drink and go through my findings. And so here... Um, for example, um, this is the Donna Lass card, and this does not mean Zodiac killed Donna Lass, but it's highly likely he wrote the letters. It's like the um, Riverside Cherry Joe Bates. We do not know that um, Zodiac did kill her, but I honestly believe he wrote those letters if he killed her or not, and this is the point. And um, so this one here says, um, Best wishes. And this is to Donna Lass's sister. And the first thing um, he writes is best wishes. And also, on top of that, um, I don't know what's going to go with that, but we'll get back to it. It's this card here. This is a was kept secret um, until 2017, the day after Donald Harden wrote in the 408 cipher solution. Um, this came in the mail with um, another cipher solution. And one of the unique features that had reverse Q was F, K, L, and M. But in the cipher, it was only used as M in the 408. But when the 340 arrived, a reverse Q had an M, and the other reverse Q had F, K, and symbol L next to it. That's how we know the symbol L was the same in both ciphers. But here, um, this says best wishes. So what are the odds? We've got two sorts of mail. This is 100% Zodiac that said best wishes. Talks about um, having his name in the paper. Also, if you see where the um, best is um, mentioned, it's missing an E. So there's an error E above the word best for E best. So again, what a great documentary this would have been if Gary Stewart, you know, he knew about this, he could present it and I offered it. They, you know, I was offering it for free. This is what gets me, but they prefer to um, present a B-grade film and it's a big shame and even on their careers, like, you know, let's all keep a secret and whatever else. And so here, um, I, I had the signature of Earl Best um, and Com, um, compared it to the BEST of the um, Donna Lass card. And also, like the both of the T's finished off very similar, like straight down, if you can see. Also, that um, when I overlaid it, and these are three different Earl Best signatures compared to the Donna Lass card, that when they wrote the capital B, um, they raised the E up a level, and that's like on the line and then and it's hard to tell here with these printouts but I have done it with a computer that I overlaid it and you can see like the EST fits quite perfectly I also say that Zodiac being a master handwriter manipulator has had lots of practice at disguising his own handwriting but I'm not saying he's been perfect with that so once again, I was comparing Earl's D's with some of Zodiac D's. You know, you can decide yourself. Um, you know, what get, got, gets me is the big loops, like here and here, if you can see what I mean, like a big oval loop. Um, and I believe they have got some similar traits. It's up to you to decide yourself. So once again, this stuff is not being presented. You know, let's present something that... Um, has got doubt upon it, but let's disregard stuff that this is my work that I found for these people. And they just chose, oh, well, that doesn't matter. And 
and even Gary goes, oh yeah, wish you the best and all that, like cut me loose, but who cares? But I think it's still very poor that, you know, he put it out there and you should, you should go all the way, you know, all the way, you know, stand by this, say, I can't help you at the moment, I might have a contract, but I still appreciate work, I can throw something your way or do something, but he doesn't like answering people that much, you know, but that's how it is. Yes, yeah, so I found this myself. Um, once again, you could um, try and use any name you can, any friend you can, and I challenge anyone, even if you twist the letters upside down like here, um, that the solution and the answer, um, you know, make this name. And people will laugh at this, but they say, oh, you can make any name using this technique. And as I say to anybody, well, go and do it. Show me your example. Because I even tried making up a name. I'm not going to say if you stick it out long enough. But it's funny that I just did L burst, L burst just like this. Um, and you could use letters on, off his other keys. Do what you want for any name. You've got a surname, the first name, last name. And one key does virtually a van without a vowel. This is... And there's some good stuff to come, but I've already produced on videos, but, and again, I skimped on some ink, you know, who, ink is pretty expensive. So, this is what I noticed, um, Donna Last Card versus All Best H. Um, and what I noticed, because I was fading them, um, just to do overlays, just to see how good they worked, and as I faded, I noticed these pressure points, that both have got these pressure points at two different locations, here, and here, and up there. So that's once again another thing again they prefer not to use. Um, and again there is other letters sent in that could have been from the Zodiac and I believe even in this one um, this little talk I'm giving is going to show even more letters that once were questionable but are now proven. Yeah, so this is another one, Boss and FBI later, but I just want to um, show that, like, these are the signatures of L. Best. Look at these Bs, and then compare these, and then I was sliding them around, um, like, on my computer just to, you know, but they leant over, they've got a, you know, this unique shape at the top. If you can see, look at that. Um, yeah, it's hard to see, I'm looking through the page, so... Hope you can see what I'm trying to show there. This one, again, this is the back of Melvin Belli's letter. And again, you know, and I don't really care, but I've seen in the Zodiac community people act like babies, people because they got such a mindset, oh, it can't be ill. So no matter what you show them, they'll say, oh, that's not it. They can't even um, assess that independently, independently of what they think, independently of the of their own perceptions. So this is the back of the Melvin Belli card and I believe um, there was an L inserted in this A with a right angle. If you can see this, so that's a blowing up. I believe that's a, so he separated it, so you got E-A-R-L for Earl. Okay. Another similarity that when he wrote Chandler that Earl has got high H's. If you compare it with the FBI Hoover letter, that the author, after like the uppercase C, for example, the H exceeds its height and happens many times um, in these samples here. So, once again, like how great would this documentary be with this material? You know, like real material, that is. I'm not saying I'm right, I could be wrong, but I'm making a case that I'm correct. Okay. Okay, I might as well just throw this in. Oh no, we'll get started here. So again, I do claim I have solved the 340 and I'm gonna go through some things. Everything's in my past videos, but this is my rambling video because they could do better. And this is what ticks me off a bit. It is a real crime. Um, and you should bring your best. You should bring your best. Like these producers, again, I thought so much better, saw the past work. I thought, yeah, these guys are gonna hit it out the park. You know, and and I'm more than sure, I even told Gary his handwriting samples weren't strong enough. 
you know, and yet now, but there is still another way, there is another sample, and there is other writings that maybe we can use, you know, so, as I was saying, this is the actual 340 cipher, and, um, as I said, he sent the solution in, and here, this is on the Halloween card, he goes, I feel it in my bones, I don't know my name, so I will clue you in, and then he gives the template to the Zodiac 340 cipher, equal letter skipping, like the G here is the A simple, and it's funny that we've got the D-I-C-E in L shape, um, and here he just spells P-A-R, but really the A does not spell the paradise, it spells the slaves, and this one here, and the R symbol here um, was a tilt like this, and he's just straightened it, and I've addressed these issues in my other video, equal letter skipping, crossword format using literal letters All right, this is my favorite find here this is comparing what eBest looks like in the Zodiac 340 compared to the eBest that looks like in the 408 the, sim the pattern is very similar and as I said in the Zodiac 340 there's only three target symbols so it is a hundred and thirteen to one chance of a target symbol appearing in the Zodiac 340 and what I've noticed, that he goes, you want to know my name, I will clue you in. That he was a smart ass, and he decided to write his name about 15 times in the Zodiac 340, and a few times even in the 408. Um, people have come and said, oh, there's everybody's names in these um, ciphers. You're half correct. And this is what I'm, I'm going to show why these are different. Because it's more often, for example, but okay and you're going to have to watch my other videos or learn the zodiac alphabet i'll go through it here so here this is his name evan best like and there's the jr here junior um with a zo next to it so imagine that so not only the name is there but it's got zo coming off it here um this is after i will give you my name because the word is because and this is why he wrote that if you tilt the z and I'll get to that later in my thing, it becomes an N. So you've got E van with the Z over here. As I said, the middle of the Zodiac 340. This is JR. I made a mistake with the dark green. You can't see, but this is JR. Um, e V Z O Jr. Down the bottom here, that spells Earl um, in the blue. Um, using 408 keys in the um, Zodiac 340. This middle one here, that's the T leaving the B as a literal, but then you've got T, S, um, V, N. So you've got Van Best and another Z, O there, written there. As I said in the middle here, E, Van Best. Um, and we've got the word Zodiac, um, like a Z, O here. And like this is Van, like this Van, like the bottom of the Halloween, no, the Exorcist letter. And again, so we'll get to that. But so, what I'm saying that his name appears or initials every time there is a ZO. You know, it's not my opinion. I'm just showing you what is there. Um, all right, might as well just skip this one. So once again, I'm um, Paul Averly, for example. Um, the letter was sent, the Halloween card was sent, and he spelled E-R-L Avery wrong, because it's Avery. Um, again, but, but by coincidence, in the Zodiac 340, and these are R, so I don't know if you can see, so that's R of the pluses. And every R but the juniors, every R but the juniors, and again, if I would have done this, I would have printed it a different colour, so we can see, so I apologise. Um, you know, so we've got them coming down here, so this pattern replicates here, like E and the, as I was saying, with the Zodiac 340 side, you can use the literal letter or the symbol, and you can go backwards and forwards, but say the reverse L is an A, so you've got E-A-R-L, and like you could argue against this if that happened once, but every single R, two have got it going this way for some reason, maybe it's the rhyme with best and the rest are coming down so even though there's about I don't know 40 or something of these but for them to appear like downwards downwards downward downward and then with the L 
um, is pretty unique. And it goes with this misspelling of the end. So that's more Earl's, that's more example. Again, he could have not done. And, and like here, here's the letter again, I've just edited it to save ink, but this is the um, one of the Zodiac letters. Um, and then he puts a capital Z, the capital A and the V, and I'm gonna address my, um, what's the word, justification of tilting letters, but then you just tilt it, small e, and if you look through the le this letter itself, they're all small e's as dots, they're not like um, dots on e's, or dots on i's, they're little e's, and so you just tilt it, you get e van, like once again, total, um, whatever missed opportunity and this here like I'm just gonna go in whatever now so this is like what I'm saying here that um, upside down T is a R so E R L so that's like that one before but inverted but then as I was showing it's 14 Judy baby boy um, and this Judy this happens um, 10 rows down and 8 rows in which is her birthday and I say Earl best inverts his name are showing the tree of the Halloween card um, circular format that's what it looks like here so it's like that's where the E Van Junior so we've got Judy baby boy 14 going around you tilt the T you tilt the N add in the cipher keys of the 408 and you get 14 um, the U equals I so you revert it back like it did to this for example you've got baby boy so it's all here um, all this time. But as I said, they choose not to put this in, even though this complements their story. This brings, as I said, my work um, proving Earl is the Zodiac, and that's why I concluded that no way this stuff all could keep happening by chance, maybe once or twice. But then if you combine a lot of things, um, it's just not logical. Just have a sip. Like that Michael Butter Butterfield character, like I was trying to explain to him, the 14, and if you look in the Halloween card, it's got the love heart in the eye of the skeleton, and the 14 above it, 14 in his hand, the reverse N is the 14th letter, and saying that two words can only mean one thing, like 14 in love means um, Earl Best and Judy, in my opinion. And it's like Luke and Leia with Star Wars. You say them two names, people think Star Wars or Golden Gate. People know it's a bridge in San Francisco. Um, you just need two words because, just say, one word is about, I don't know, a thousand to one. Another word, say, ten thousand to one. So you multiply two words together, convert them to a mathematical statistic, and that's what you get. Um, another one here, this is like in the, another find of mine, um, the Badlands, when he talks about the Badlands movie, the Zodiac, that in the movie trailer that, um, the guy's 25 and he dates a 15 year old, where Earl was 27 marrying the 14 year old, and then he writes about it in the Badlands letter, the Zodiac, and then he adds like, um, 1959, but then he puts an E, with the five, like, you know, to hint that, that is there. Um, as I was saying, so this is the 10 or 9 Zodiac letter from this. All good kids go to heaven, like reverse N here, reverse IAK. That's what I was showing you can now reverse the cipher keys. This is my work, so the L there, that was also L, um, that's O, that could be C or V. Um, as I said again, there's an I symbol out of 53 symbols, four I's in the 408, and both appear with this pattern. So this is just part of my work. Okay. So I might just go over stuff I've already got here. Um, yeah, so as you can see, the bottom of the 408 cipher, the first key I'm um, concluding was the word um, letter E. And then he went to write best again, like VE, how he wrote best up here. There's no other VE in the, in the entire 408, but he chose the one to make the best. If you saw the X is a reverse J, and then you got the R, so E best junior once again that he was trying to do. Um, again, like so, this pattern here, 
um, as I was saying, I want to show a principle here. Um, see this, these symbols here, upside down T and triangle, there's only three in the entire cipher and four of the black triangles. Same here, so just imagine this pattern, um, like it's about 600 to 1 or something, because it's um, 100 to 1, no, 6,001 to appear once, even though it's only two little ones, there's some um, 6,000 to 1 to appear, and then it appears with the, like the Z and the VN, you can just tilt them, um, I've done other videos how I justify this. We've got the L here, so we've got L, E, S, T. Let's see, should I start this one again? L, E, um, A, and the R. So that's L because that's a, um, A and S. See, it gets confusing. And this bottom one here, because it's with the B. I oh, don't know which way, because I'm looking at it back to front. So, um, so yeah, so. Yeah, B, S, T, E. So really, that one's like Earl Best, Van, Van Best. And as I was color coding, this is the one I was showing earlier. So I'm guessing the reverse B is the S. So S there, S there, and S there. And then that T here, so that's the symbol. So that's literal T, symbol for T. S, so this one's literal E, symbol for E. This is 408 keys. And then the um, V was a B um, in that one so I'm saying he just tilted it one way and then you had another upside down V which was N so then I concluded if that one is um, what's the story the B that means this opposite one is the N like he did it the other way and then here you got N V A so that's Van here Junior and then we've got the E S um, B and the T so once again, he's been a smart-ass writing his name. And I'm using 408 keys and explaining how I'm doing it. And that's what I'm saying. He said, oh, you wish to know my name. And some reason, the name of Earl Best and with low-key values keep popping up. Okay. And it's just saying, like, you my name um, at the end of the thing. And if you can see here, this is a Gary and a boy. G-R-Y and a B. YO, and I'm going to go back to this later as I was showing Evan best. And as I said, Earl did sell books, so as I was saying, that's his name, Earl, there with book above. It may be weird that you're having square letters. This book again, as I said, this is Earl Van, the same as the boss, bottom of the Exorcist letter. That's the letter T. Also, the best wishes cipher key gave the value of a e, e and S, but it was only used as a E N D four O eight. So now we can use that as an S. So we've got B E. Let's see T S E. Keeping literal B, and then we've got like even zodiac here. How we spelled it at the bottom of the cipher. Um, Z O D I A K. Um, just the L here is the one you convert back. As I said, you got um, the C is the V reverse C should I say V A N. And then you've got like E-A-R-L if you convert that around to an L or you move that there and you've got, if you, that's L-E-A-R if you want to just keep it as things. So it can go both ways, ironically. Uh, and that's what I was showing before and it was hard to see so I do apologise and I have got them in my things but so here's the boy in the um, Zodiac 340. This is Gary Stewart. This is boy, boy. That's a square next to this B for another by. And as I said again, that's the O symbol here. Um, you know, by the boy, this is the O symbol. And again, hard to see, I apologize, with a dot next to it, but it's boy again. And then you've got this one here, the D, like I showed with the mirror. So now a reverse D was an O, and you can revert it back. Um, reverse symbols as I've showed it gets complicated and then like I found these patterns here like the boy pattern and it gets complicated like the F becomes the B and the Y so it becomes by the boy once again um, as I was showing here and these are like a Gary because they are the G equals A in the 408 so G A R Y using that the boy the Gary just thought I'd show that. There's also a Gary here as well. This is the 408 
showing how I did this, these symbols here. So that pattern here that I've got here is exactly to these here. And again, it's hard to see and I apologize, but I can't waste any more ink printing it out. But this is a better view. So that's what it looks like here. That's all showing that same pattern. And I just added the G. And what I want to say there's like with this pattern reverse F with a G. So there's only six of these, so it's 50 to 1 chance you get a G with a reverse F. You get it twice and you get that Gary once again. So he's producing a movie about some guy called Best who had a boy and all the rest, you know. And again, I'm just showing like I'll be putting this in. If someone put this to my attention, I'll be putting it in this documentary, you know, or standing by it instead of getting the shove. So, anyhow. Yeah, so once again, questionable if this was ever the Zodiac's letter, but now because of the spacing um, here um, with the boy pattern, so this is quite well now, plus a reverse mirror. That's what I was saying earlier. This could have been a Zodiac letter. Once again, with this symbol here, um, the T and the E, we're keeping um, these two are literal letters here. These two here, but the rest by just showing how Van Best again, like I say, he just keeps writing his name like a madman. Just imagine a madman in a cell, just write your name everywhere. And this is what I believe he did. Um, yeah, so I think this is coming to an end. I might just have a bit of a drink and uh, sit back now. Uh, yeah, so as, as I was saying, um, I had a lot more to offer. And this is just some of my work is a good portion. And again, I just don't understand their logic. Like, again, you know, this documentary, and this is where the problem is, people have got really angry. Um, you know, he's trash like no tomorrow. They've highlighted, so this is why we don't believe you. You know, well, what, and this is the problem, but because of he made these errors, which is 90% of his case, they, um, you know, discard everything. And that's the problem, they can't. So no matter what you bring from that point on, they can't um, process it in their brain that it is possible. And they say, oh, he's a fraud and he's that. But again, and as I said, and I believe my work here, is 20 times better than anything he's virtually ever got. He got a few things right, Halloween card and the name in the 408. And that's where it stops. The handwriting is wrong, the fingerprints wrong. Um, that doesn't mean, you know, yeah, so. Anyhow, have a good day and I'm gonna end it now.